Hi friends, I just finished cleaning this LEDPOT MAX 21 pod hydroponic system and I want to share my thoughts about it. While I have to say that I am really impressed with the performance of the system, there are some aspects that I find less than ideal. Let me start by emphasizing how much I appreciate its performance. I have successfully grown various plants including cucumbers and watermelons in this LEDPOT MAX and the results have always been impressive. In fact, I have even conducted some side-by-side -side comparisons with the AeroGarden Bounty Basic and Bounty Elite systems and the LEDPOT MAX held its own admirably. I am even impressed with the LEDPOT customer care. They are always very responsive and address all the issues. So overall, I am very happy with LEDPOT ecosystem. However, that's not everything, right? Long-term maintenance of the system should also be easy and straightforward. And this is where my biggest issue lies, cleaning the system. It turned out to be much more complex than I anticipated. And that is something I find challenging. The goal of this video is to address one aspect that I don't like with the system so that you are all aware of it and have some expectations when you buy it and start using it. Look at this bowl. Because of this auto refilling, auto feeding and deeply integrated pumps into the bowl, cleaning of this bowl became very difficult. Look at all these cuttings and tight edges in this bowl. This is actually a huge bowl with 7.5 liters water capacity and I really like it. Even though I like this bowl for its water capacity, these curves, edges and cuttings to accommodate the auto refilling and auto feeding makes the bowl cleaning very difficult. After all, I don't use these features at all. I am not saying that these are useless features. I am sure someone can make use of it, but I don't. These are rarely used features and I have DIY alternatives. My point is, I can really appreciate the clean bowl more than all these rarely used features. Just as a comparison, look at this AeroGarden Bounty Bowl. How clean it is. It is so easy to clean this bowl. There is only the floating water float connected to this bowl. This can be easily detached. After that, it is super clean, so easy to clean. I spent just a minute or two to clean this bowl. But when it comes to this LEDPOT MAX, I had to spend at least 10 minutes, use a toothbrush and run through all these cuttings, scrub it thoroughly and rinse it multiple times and I cannot detach these pumps so I have to deal with this. I wish LEDPOT can actually look through these practical things. We all need technology in these hydroponic systems but there is a limit to how much technology is really useful for day-to-day -day gardening. We don't need all these features and make this system very complicated for day-to-day -day use. I clean this bowl every 60 days. Whether I am already in the process of growing cycle or when it is the end of the grow cycle, I take out the plant and deep clean the bowl because there is a lot of residue all over the bowl that may lead to mold, uh, fungus or any kind of nasty stuff. I don't want any nasty stuff. I want very clean bowl. The plants growing very healthy in a clean water and clean nutrition. That's why cleaning is very important. So. If there is anything LEDPOT can do to make this cleaning very easy, removing all these attachments and uh, or just rethink about having these attachments in a plug and play way, that would be very, very, very good for the hydroponic gardeners. All right, that is all about it. Again, I really like the LEDPOT systems. Even in their smallest, very basic LEDPOT mini, I got very good results. I was able to grow a lot of stuff successfully in all the LEDPOT systems. However, if LEDPOT can make a few improvements, this will be an outstanding hydroponic system. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.